All right, you guys, let's get into it. No time to waste. I'm gonna show you the pivot drill. This is one of the first drills my coach showed me to help understand the pivot, pivoting in boxing and how it works with your punches. Now, you can pivot off of almost any punch and you can pivot in both directions. So before you start thinking ahead, this is the foundation drill. So we're gonna go over that. I'm gonna demonstrate it, then I'll teach it, and then we'll go over some variations after and some other ways you can work pivots off of your punching. All right, let's get into it. One, two, pivot. Two, three, pivot. Now I'm going 90 degrees in this pivot. So here, if I'm here on this point, one, two, two, three, one, two, two, three, one, two, two, three. Now, generally how this is working is I'm learning to pivot with the hip motion in sync with my punches. Understanding how punches and hips go together along with pivots, they tend to work in opposites. So once you get a feel for that, then you can also expand on that and pivot and do different things and, and turn and create angles off of different punches. So for example, if I start like this, one, Two, my hips are closed here. So it would be hard for me to continue to pivot this way, although it's possible. It's natural and easy if I was to throw another punch, instead of the punch, I'm gonna pivot out this way into my stance here. Now if I go two, right hand, three, now my hip and my body is turned this way, the natural pivot is now to go counterclockwise. Here, like so. So once you start to work this drill, you really get an understanding of how the hips work with the pivots. Here. Okay, that hip motion, how you use that to help you turn. So let's go over the drill again. I start, one, two. I pivot, two, three. I pivot. Now here's something really important about the pivot that I don't think is taught, is not really explained. You gotta, when you wanna pivot, you gotta sink your weight just a little bit into the ground. You gotta drop your weight. That puts pressure on the back leg. It also allows you to accelerate into the pivot. So here, if I pivot one, two, and I'm gonna pivot out, I wanna just sink down a little bit and that puts more pressure on the back leg and then I get there quicker. Obviously, if I'm pivoting here like this, I still want to come back up. I don't want to keep going lower, 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 because like, eventually you're just going to have to drop the needle. You know what I mean? Like do some old school dancing if you're going to keep getting lower. <laughs> so anyways, off of the pivot, make sure to have a little bit of sink. Okay, in your hips, that's going to help you accelerate as you work, as you turn into that pivot. It's going to get you to where you need to go quicker, all right, to get to your angle. Now sometimes when you pivot in the beginning, yeah, sure, you're gonna stand still here, but in actuality, you tend to be moving and creating angles when you pivot. So it looks more like this, here. As I step, if I wanna get out that way, I tend to step in maybe on a slight angle. One, two, see here? Out, one, two, and I'm off the center line. And I pivot out. So you have to also learn to step with it. So first we did it stationary, now we do it with the step. One, two, pivot. Now it's different here. Two, you step on the three, very small. And that gets you out this way. If you want, you can also throw the three first, step and drop. Okay, if you wanna to start to move out to the right. Because the way it works with pivots, if, I, if somebody's in front of me, if I turn, if my left leg's in front and I turn counterclockwise, I will end up closer to my opponent. I will end up closer to them. If I pivot out this way, I will end up further than my opponent. Same if southpaw, further is this way, okay? Closer is this way. It's just the way the body works off the pivot point. So if I wanna create a little bit of space and not always be in so close and have a quick way out, I've also gotta to learn to step on my shot and then pivot. So the first drill was the one, two, pivot, two, three, pivot. Now we're gonna step on it. One, two, see how I stepped out a little bit? Just a little bit, boom, boom. I pivot. 
two, three. I can either step on the three if I want or throw it and then drop a little bit to protect myself and then come out around on that angle. Then I'm back again. One, two, two, three. One, oh, I didn't step there. One, two, two, three. One, two, two, three. Okay, see how I'm working that? Now this is just a drill you're doing in repetition and patterns. You would really just do this here. Off of your own freestyle. Whatever you're working, you would just work it off of what you're doing. All right, now the third way to pivot is off the opposite motion. One, two, three. Now normally we'd be going counterclockwise, but you're gonna stop here, you're gonna go back to the outside, slip, pivot. Okay, let's just start with that one side. One, two, three, hip closes, open it by putting weight back that way, pivot. Here I am in front of you, one, two, three, step and slip, pivot. Okay, so that's the one side. Now the other side's a little bit harder, okay? One, two, slip, I'm gonna drop weight down, and then pivot that way, okay? Normally I would throw the right hand, and then we'd be going clockwise, but instead I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna transfer weight, take a second to transfer weight, get my head off the center line, and pivot out this way. One fighter used to do this really well, boom, 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 is James Tony punching, pivoting inside, pivoting inside, stepping through with that right leg. James, he used to pivot amazing both ways, but you used to see him do this quite a bit. So here off the other side, two, three, two, drop, put weight on this back leg, get your head off the center line, boom. So there's a little bit of a toggle. You punch, 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 take that weight back, transfer through. So let's work it slowly, this third version, let's work it slowly, here. I go one, two, three, step out, clockwise pivot. Two, three, two, slip, put weight on the back leg. Okay, counterclockwise pivot. One, two, three, clockwise. Two, three, two, dip, counterclockwise. All right, so I really threw a lot at you in that video with the pivots and all the variations because you can pivot and, and do any kind of variation off of any side. But the fundamental drill is something you gotta get, that one, two, pivot, two, three, pivot. And once you get that, you're gonna understand how the hips work and then you're gonna understand better how to shift weight to pivot in the different directions that you need. If you're a beginner and you're starting to come up, you, you can start this drill right now, really ingrain it into all your boxing. <laughs> Boom. Get used to those pivots and turns. Get used to moving, turning your opponent, keeping them at angles, always changing the angle and direction. And this drill, one of my favorite that I learned early from my coach, is really gonna up your footwork and up your boxing. All right, thanks for watching, you guys. Peace.